In this demonstration, we're working with a piece of brass to a piece of steel. Tubing to square steel. All I'm doing is heating up your base metal until we get this to a dull red. That's the color we're looking for. Not bright red, not cherry red. Go red. It'll actually turn from a yellow to a red. So when you see the yellow, it's telling you about 800 degrees. I'm going to start putting my flux on there. A little bit on this side. Gonna blow it out. Let that flux do its job. There we go. It's still starting to get active. Just a little bit more there. There we go. Just gonna lay a little bit of rod here. Blow it around. And it pulls it right around. You wouldn't expect the silver solder to pull it like that on steel. It'll do that on copper and brass all day long, but on steel you wouldn't expect that. But with our SSF-6, it does flow very nice. Plus it's uh, over 70,000 PSI and it finishes beautifully. We clean the flux off with warm water and a wire brush. Take a look at this, no pinholes, no porosity. We didn't need to grind it, do any type of machine work. This is the way the SSF-6 finishes. It looks professional and we only used a propane torch. You can use oxyacetylene, just turn your oxygen down a bit. You don't need to get this to a bright red. If you do turn it bright red, remember that it will impede the flow of the rod. Can you think of a reason that you would ever want to send your brass or copper, stainless, cast iron, anything out again to anybody else? This is something you could do right there in your shop. The SSF-6 has all the talent built into the rod and flux.